we are very pleased that the efficacy of our vaccine holds very well against Omicron for people that got their third dose. And so I would really encourage anybody who has not gotten their third dose or as friend or family who only got two doses or, God forbid, have not been vaccinated to get protected because the real-world evidence data, like the data published weekly by the UK, shows a very, very strong protection. And that's a piece that gives us a lot of hope. You know, we have been very privileged in 2021 to help hundreds of millions of people. You know, we shipped 807 million doses around the world. We're very pleased that around 25% of those doses have been supplied to low-income and middle-income countries. And this morning, we reported that our sales are going to be around you know, $17.5 billion. They, of course, have to be fully audited in the coming weeks. And so do you expect that at some point this year, the decision will be made to have to update the vaccines? At what point will we know how frequently we're going to need another dose? What does the future look like, as much as you can tell? Sure. So again, with biology and this virus, we all want to be very humble. Uh, as you know, we're working very actively on a Omicron specific uh, vaccine as a booster. Uh, that should be in the clinic very soon. And we are discussing with public health leaders around the world to decide what do we think is the best strategy for a potential booster for the fall of 2022. We believe it will contain Omicron um, mRNAs. Uh, but do we need to add any other components? That has to be discussed because we need to be careful to try to stay ahead of a virus and not behind the virus. What is interesting, Meg, is if you look at uh, governments around the world who are uh, very much looking into 2022, uh, you know, on an earning call on November 4th, we said that our signed APAs were $17 billion, that we had uh, options for up to $3 billion, and we're reporting this morning at JP Morgan that we are increasing those expectations because uh, countries have been placing a lot of orders. Our signed APAs with upfront payments are now for $18.5 billion. Recently, the UK, Switzerland, you know, South Korea have ordered for the fall of 22. And now the options have been increased from 3 billion back in November to 3.5 billion. And there are discussions ongoing on a daily basis with a lot of countries who want to be ready with the best product possible for the fall of 22. And as you know, the real world evidence data has really shown very strongly. And you see it in all the OECD country where it's really, you know, mRNA vaccines being used, that the Moderna vaccine show very strong duration of efficacy. And that's really important to protect people. 